streets gonna always be fucked. Yeah. 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 Let's go out the Holly yeah. Grove. Okay. Now put the mic on the map if you won't get on. Now put the spitter on the map if you won't get on. Now put the pole on the map if you won't get on. Say put the feet on the map if you won't get on. Say put E I on the map if you won't get on. K put the Drew on the map if you won't get on. Say put the Mark on the map if you won't get on. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a good looking rapper. I ain't trying to stunt. Happy holidays, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, so we're going to start off this reading with angel messages, and we're going to see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. Now, if anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal or anything else you want to know about me, will be in the description box below. All right, Scorpios, let's go. Holy Spirit, what angel messages do you have for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios? Okay, so I'm going to take these three, Scorpio. So we got 696. Six. Focus on your purpose rather than material things. So I feel like some of you guys have been blessed with a spiritual gift, right? But this gift maybe is not bringing you the financial blessing. You know, it's not bringing in the money that you were expecting it to, okay? Or that could be something that you're doing, but you know that it's the only reason or the only why, the, the only reason why you're doing this is because spirit blessed you with something. But I feel like you're focused more on the money aspect. And spirit, spirit, the spirit is saying, focus on your purpose, focus on your path and what you're supposed to be doing here on earth versus the material things we're gonna bless you with the money and the luxury this and that okay but right now they just strictly want you to focus on your purpose i feel like this is a message for me as well so when you see this number in particular scorpio this is a message from your angels and your spirit guides we have 151 your spirit guides are encouraging you to listen to your inner wisdom so that positive changes can be obtained so I feel like some of you are wanting to possibly switch some things up or do some things differently, but you got to listen to your intuition because I feel like you receive your messages through source. And the only way that you're going to be able to obtain these positive changes is to listen to your intuition. What is spirit telling you to do? 7111. These can be triggers that you feel from your divine counterparts. So some of you can be on a twin flame journey. And you could be feeling a little bit triggered, especially around the holidays. But if you are feeling any type of triggers, any up and down emotions, anything that you feel like is stopping you on your path or stopping you from experiencing something new, whether it's love, finances, career, whatever it is, if anything is triggering you from anything that you dealt with from your divine counterpart, those, that means that you still need to heal, okay? If you're still being triggered from your past and, and the things that you went through with your divine counterpart, you still need to heal from those triggers, those past wounds, and those traumas here. All right, y'all. So let's get into these messages and see what it is that Holy Spirit wants you to know. If anything has been resonating for you so far, Scorpio, don't forget to like this video. Now, let me show for these real good because it seems like every time I pull from these cards, Scorpio, the jackass card came out. So remember earlier, thank you, Spirit. This one wants to fall on out. So remember, we had 696. So I feel like meditation, some of you, maybe you focus or you do yoga, but I feel like really meditating right now is going to help you bring some type of balance with your spiritual gifts. It's going to be able to help you more tap in tune with your gift, okay? So I feel like some of you, like I said, you have a spiritual gift, but maybe you're needing to meditate a little bit more. Messages for my Scorpios. Tell us more. Because this woman has on white. So I feel like meditation can help you tap more into this gift. Possibly doing some type of yoga. Like I said, the healing mantras with your hands. All right. So tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios need to know? Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Shuffle one more time. Okay. So we got spiritual gifts. Mm. So I feel like, Scorpio, you have spiritual gifts. You're very zen. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to do things to possibly bring balance into your life. For some of you guys, you're showing off. 
your spiritual gift spirit could be wanting you to tap in more into your gift here because i feel like whatever you're gifted like whatever gift that you've been blessed with it's the reason why you were blessed with that gift because you were supposed to help others but also it helps you as well so i feel like you're tapping more into your spiritual side meanwhile on the ranch you got somebody over here drinking and acting the damn fool okay they got this toxic ass lifestyle they partying they living it up okay they saying it's going up on a monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday okay it go up every day so this is somebody who be kicking it you know what i'm saying they could be going out partying drinking clubbing and it's like you're working more on your spiritual side so tell us more holy spirit messages for my scorpio what else do they need to know all right fake busy but i feel like whoever okay so someone could be living a toxic lifestyle but i feel like they're doing a lot of things just to fake being busy like this is someone that's just trying to appear that they just got a lot of stuff going on you know they're just so busy they can't do this they can't do that but i feel like this person is not busy at all i feel like this is someone who has a lot of time on their hands and it's like they're just trying to fake like you know they got a lot of things going on tell us more holly spirit we're gonna see why this person like why, why you faking busy okay messages for my scorpio tell us more well we got love spell so this person that could be faking busy this could be someone that that like let's get one more i feel like someone here feels like you put a love spell yeah Someone here feels like either you put some type of love spell on them and this this person is faking busy, acting like they just so busy with work and outside things and they ain't doing shit. But this is someone who I feel like even though they're faking busy, they can't figure out like why they can't get you off they, off your mind or why this person can't get you off of their mind. Why they up here faking busy and shit. Like this is someone who they confuse. But they feel like this love spell or something that you don't cast up on them, baby. They feel like they <laughs> they feel trapped here. Like this trap card always coming out. So someone here feels like they're caught under some type of love spell. And I feel like this is you. Like someone here feels like they are under your spell. And it's like they're trying to fake bees. They're trying to act like they just so occupied with life and, you know, all the wonderful things that's going on. But they ain't got shit going on, Scorpio. Let's get one more and then we're going to clarify. We're going to pull... Then we're going to pull some of your energies. Tell us more. Family. Okay. So I feel like whoever this is, Scorpio, someone here feels like you don't cast this some type of love spell. They feel like they trapped under your love. They feel like this love, these feelings that they have for you, like this is something that keeps them trapped. Like this is something that keeps them stuck is what I want to say. They may look at it as a trap, but it's really something that keeps this person stuck on you like glue. And I feel like this is someone who also thinks about starting a family or having a family. Maybe you guys, if you're able to have kids, this person want to have kids with you. If you already have kids, maybe they want to blend some families together. But this is like a young child. So I feel like this is someone who, who thinks about starting a family, what a family would be like with you. But they're feeling trapped here. So let's pull. What are we doing, Spirit? Let's let's get a little bit of energy. Let's see what's the energy around this reading. And then I'll clarify this, okay? So messages for my Scorpio. So let's get the energy. What type of energy is around this reading? And then we'll clarify and see what's going on. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. If anything is resonating for you guys, don't forget to like this video now. All right, messages for Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What do they need to know? Scorpio, I think I may just do Scorpio videos today because I'm actually trying to move around. I'm giving myself like six hours to work and then I'm trying to move around a little later. So, yeah, I may just dedicate today to y'all and then get back to the Zodiac later on in the week. All right, so what is the energy, Holy Spirit, around this reading? all right so i feel like whoever this is some of you guys you have trust issues so this could be something maybe you are maybe some of you are starting something new let me tell y'all something y'all know i always you know talk to y'all about what's going on and i always talk about my soulmate let me tell y'all something i believe these triggers this is something for me 
I definitely know that I have not healed from everything that I experienced with my twin. And it's kind of starting to show him this relationship I got going now. It's like, you know, he know everything. He know about my twin and everything that happened. But those trust issues, man, like trust is a mug. And, you know, for us, Scorpio, like when you break our trust, it's hard to get that back. So I feel like some of you, like you have a lot of trust issues. And I feel like your trust issues really stem from your divine counterpart or someone from your past, someone who just did a lot of lines, somebody who just can tell the truth to say they damn ass here. So tell us more, Holy Spirit. Some of you, maybe you're doing something to where you're showing off your spiritual gifts. And this and this is why this person up here faking these, like they got a lot going on in their life too, but they ain't got shit going on, Scorpio. <laughs> Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What is the energy around this reading? All right, so we have someone that's thinking, I can't make this up. Thinking about starting a family with you, Scorpio. I can't make it up. They're thinking about starting a family with you now, having a family. Some of you already had kids. You like me, you can't have no more kids. If you could, you don't want no more kids, you know. But they're thinking about what it would be like to have a family with you. Now, this could have been someone in the past, their priorities was fucked up, okay? So, the things that you prioritized or that you felt, you know, was important, this person did not. So, you and this person didn't share the same values, I feel here. So, let's look at this love spell. Let's see who this is. Who feels like they're under some type of love spell that's causing them to be trapped? Now, someone here could feel like maybe a third party or somebody done cast some type of love spell up on them as well. But somebody here feels trapped. Messages for my Scorpio's Holy Spirit. Can you clarify this love spell? Can you clarify this love spell for my Scorpio's? Who is this that feels like they're under some type of love spell? Can you clarify love spell, Holy Spirit? Can you clarify love spell? Who just got the spinning? Okay, so we got this Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is the energy I feel like of someone who wants to come rushing in with something, okay? It's kind of, it looks like this person's chasing. So I feel like this could be someone that's possibly going to have to chase you in the long run, Scorpio. Because I feel like this is someone who possibly, maybe they feel like someone else had them under some type of love spell that's always had them trapped. But you can be receiving an unexpected message, okay? And this this message that you're going to receive, some of you, this information is going to shock you. This has to do with someone I feel like wanting to be be truthful. But whoever this is, they're spending a lot of time in their head. So this person may want to tell you that they feel like maybe a third party or something had them under some type of love spell that kept them, them stuck here. Tell us more about this Knight of Swords. You could be dealing with a Libra. It doesn't have to be. Tell us more about this Knight of Swords, Holy Spirit. You could be seeing lots of blackbirds, Scorpio. Yeah, okay. So this is someone who, yeah, there was some type of illusion that was created in the past. And it was created, you guys, so that this person would not make the right choice. So this look, this third party, for some of you, cast some type of love spell, did some type of black magic on this person so that they will always be in this indecisive-ass energy, okay? You see, this person can't make up their mind. They don't know which choice or, or which one is the best cup or which one they're supposed to pick, okay? But this is someone who has made up their mind now. And I feel like for some of you, you're going to get this unexpected message. Tell us more about this message, Holy Spirit. This person going to tell you that they made up their mind and they want to choose you, possibly? Tell us more, Holy Spirit, about this Knight of Swords. Ooh, let's lead right on across. Ooh, look at this. Scorpio, this person has been manifesting you. This is someone who has been healing. But looking at this card, I'm getting more of manifesting. So I feel like someone has been manifesting a new start or a brand new opportunity with you. But I feel like, Scorpio, this message is going to leave you kind of, you know, in this energy of uncertainty, you know? Like, you ain't really sure. I feel like some of you have been waiting for this message. Or you've been waiting for someone to reach out, and it's like they finally reach out, and you be like, okay, now what? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like for some of you, this person, when they reach out, like, I feel like it's kind of going to have you in your head. Tell us more about the Two of Pentacles. Because you're going to be doing like some type of juggling act. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn here. 
Tell us about the Two of Pentacles. Messages for Scorpio. Tell us about the Two of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. What are they going to be indecisive about? This new beginning, the wheel. I feel like some of you are going to be indecisive because you're not sure. You you feel like something could be destined or faded, but I feel like you're you're unsure. You're just unsure about this person in this situation. I feel like you're going to be going back and forth, like about what should you do? Should you take them back? Should you listen to what they have to say? Like, I feel like something, whatever this person's going to say to you, like, it's going to have you this energy of uncertainty. That's, that's what I just keep picking up, like this energy of uncertainty, maybe not knowing exactly what to do next. You know what I'm saying? Let's get one more. So tell us about trapped, Holy Spirit. Who is this person that feels trapped and why do they feel trapped? Tell us about feeling trapped and why. Who is this that feels trapped, Holy Spirit, and why does this person feel trapped? Queen of Swords, this is you. Scorpio, you're going to be feeling trapped. You're going to be the one that feels trapped. Why is the Queen of Swords going to be feeling trapped, Holy Spirit? Because I feel like you're going to have to really make some type of logical, rational decision. Like, do you really want to take this person back or not? You know what I'm saying? Tell us about the Queen of Swords, Holy Spirit. Tell us about the Queen of Swords. Mm. All right, so you, Scorpio, this is you. You're the Queen of Swords that's going to be feeling trapped. I'm telling you, something that this person is going to tell you is like, you're not sure because we had a Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone now who finally wants to give you that reciprocity, that equal give and take that you were looking for in the past. But some of you, maybe you've moved on. Maybe you're dealing with someone new here. But I'm just feeling, I just keep picking up this energy of uncertainty, Scorpio. That's all I can, that's all I can pretty much say. But I feel like whatever this person is going to say to you, they're going to want to tell you that they made up their mind. They know what they want, but they can tell you the reason why it took them so long to come towards you is they feel like they were under some type of love spell. Some of you guys, I feel like, I just feel like regardless of what this person say, they're going to leave you in this trapped energy. Like you're not going to know how to move forward or what to do next, okay? All right, y'all. So we have Aquarius, Libra, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, and Capricorn. So let's roll and see who this reading is about. Who this reading is about? All right. So we got Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra. Heavy, Leo, Taurus, and Sag. And we also have Cancer, Aquarius, Aries, and Virgo. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.